Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Phuket in southern Thailand and today for lunch we are eating at a restaurant called Gingup E and it literally means eating with auntie. I'm gonna go ahead and say that she is the coolest chef and that's the coolest chef outfit of any chef outfit I've ever seen anywhere. She is legendary for her Phuket style Thai Chinese, specifically Hakka food. Auntie is an incredible cook. I love her style, her cooking method. We've pre-ordered the food, we're gonna watch her as she cooks and I can't wait to eat and to share all the food with you in this. It really is a home cooked backyard meal. just pulled in um, and it is their house so you eat in their backyard there's just tables spread out throughout their backyard but they're so friendly the family um, and they've greeted us and welcomed us I love the feel the relaxed pace just the garden you're dining in the backyard we got a table right under that little bungalow perfect <laughs> Something you have to do here is you have to pre-order the food before you come a couple days in advance or maybe the day before. Uh, reservations and at least two days before? Okay. Okay, two days before you have to make a reservation and during that reservation they send you the menu and then you choose the different dishes that you want. We're gonna head back to the kitchen now to watch her as she cooks, Auntie as she cooks. They're so nice, so cool. Oh, and this is the house. She actually cooks at the bottom of the house in the yard. Awesome. Sawadikab, sawadikab. So it is a huge honor to have a chance to meet Auntie and have her cook for us. Oh man, she is her years of knowledge and experience and what a kitchen, open air underneath the house uh, facing the backyard. You can hear the sound of the stream just trickling by which adds to the ambience. She is amazing and she's making a namprik with a uh, little dried fish and then she just shredded in some green mango and it's so aromatic, so fragrant with that, uh, especially the shrimp paste, the fresh chilies and that green mango. Mamon pao, my cup. Mamon pao. Mamon pao, Okay, got อ่าอันนี้อันนี้ปลาอะไรครับอันนี้ปลาหมูค่ะปลาหมูครับพิมพ์เป็นเชฟอ่าโอเคเป็นเชฟโอเคครับอันนี้ปลาหมูค่ะ
the next dish that we ordered is a steamed chicken. It's already prepared, which is already cooked, so she just chops it up into bite-sized pieces onto the plate. Oh man, the aromas. We also got gangsom, which is a sour curry Southern Thai style with turmeric. Fish is still frying, and Auntie just finished chopping up our chicken, half a chicken. I just wanna say a huge thank you for watching this video. I hope you're already enjoying it. But right now, if you could quickly click like on this video, you would be a huge help. And it will just take you one second. So thank you in advance for clicking like on this video. This is the curry one made fried with fish. Okay, the curry paste. Yes. Oh, and then you'll put this back onto the fish? Yes. Wow. So it'll be a little bit crispy. It's like deep fried crunchy curry paste that just smells insane. What a technique. I think that's everything. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Welcome. Oh man. I think that completes after she dished out the gangsom and fried the um the pakgut, which is the fern. I think that is all the dishes we ordered. I'm rushing back to our hut to start eating, but they're so cool. This is a family restaurant. You feel the love, the passion. This is you are at home eating here. That is all of the dishes, a beautiful spread of different food, and again, she has the coolest chef outfit and style that I've seen of any chef ever. That style. Oh man, um, and you're sitting in their backyard, which is even more awesome. And the flavors, the bright colors, the just everything. The dishes look superb. And there's also a lot of home touches, a lot of traditional Thai style touches, like the, the spoons made from zinc, usually made from zinc. These are the, the old Thai style spoons. And I have to begin with the fried fish, the Bla Thod Krung, which is the the curry paste, deep fried, crunchy fish. And this is a blamong. I forget what it is in English, right? Blamong, but we've been eating blamong a lot, actually. Um, and I love that curry paste, crunchy on top. It's a beautiful thing. Have to begin with that, that fish. Yeah, this is just such a cool place. The entire concept, the entire idea, the entire house, and auntie. And I love how this entire restaurant is also just a, a family, a family initiative. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. It tastes like deep fried curry with a fish in the center. It is deep fried curry. That krung, that marinade, those herbs and spices, the turmeric, the lemongrass, the galangal. It is superb. And it's a little bit spicy too. There's definitely some dry chilies in there. The fish is good, <laughs> but the curry paste is where it's at. That is the highlight. Fried curry paste. Superb and so fresh. Next dish that I'm gonna try is called Gai Pesa, which is, I believe it's a steamed chicken, Thai Chinese style or Hakka style, Hakka Chinese style. And the yellow skin, so she chopped this up, had it prepared already. But the, the main thing that goes with this is this amazing oil filled with garlic, and I'm not sure what else, but it looks incredible. She said, don't pour it over the, the entire chicken because it's kind of salty, but you dip your chicken into that sauce. You can feel the texture of that amazing chicken. Uh, the, the slight chewiness, the free range aspect of it. Oh, what else is in this sauce? Garlic, maybe some soy sauce, oil. I wanna cake up that garlic on this piece of chicken. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's stunning. 
Okay. It's the whole package in your mouth all at once. The uh, okay, the texture of oh, that chicken, know? which is so juicy what? and yet soft yet muscular at the same time. Um, and then that sauce, just the smoky garlic, salty, extremely fried garlicky. And that's what makes it. Yeah, that sauce is delicious. But the chicken is also just done perfectly uh, because of the different textures, because of that skin. That skin just melts into the meat. But wow, that sauce. You know, the fried, smoky garlic. Mm. Yeah, you'll lick your fingers. Okay, next up for the numprik with the little fish with the green mango, which he was pounding up. Um, and then it's served with a selection of different vegetables from eggplant, uh, bamboo shoots, there's bitter melon, there's carrots, there's cucumbers, there's white turmeric. This is a specific type of uh, Phuket style numprik, nam, numprik chupyo. Nam chupyo, nam chupyo with the little fish. Ba ching chang, which is a little dry fish, um, which you pounded up in there. And I love the dryness yet chunkiness of it. And you can just see how much flavor is in there. I think I'll start with a cucumber. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, that's just beautiful. I like how it's dry and not watery. Um, the condensed flavor of the shrimp paste contrasted by the sourness of that green mango. The chilies and the dried fish just give it even more, a more punch of salty, fishy, just umami burst in your mouth. Oh, what a dip. Okay, bitter melon. Oh, I think this is raw bitter melon. Nice. And just all of those ingredients pounded up into a harmony. It's spicy. Oh. And with that bitter melon adding the bitter element to it. That's it. another contrast, another layer of complexity. Did you try the gengsom yet? Okay, and next up for the gengsom, which is the sour southern Thai curry, uh, we got it with, I think this is blamong again, it's the same type of fish as the fried fish. Um, but this one just slices steaks of it, and then she made it also with adip, which is um, uh, taro stems. I'll just take that whole slice of fish, a few more of the stems, all right, and a bit more of the curry sauce. Turmeric, garlic, um, dry chili, chilies in here, a bunch of chilies, and then that fish. Mm. Oh yeah, the gangsoma is just sour and spicy, with just a hint of sweetness to balance the flavor, but the fish is fresh, it melts in your mouth, and then the sponginess of those taro stems. Awesome. Oh, that's just, it's mostly sour and spicy and just soothing. Oh, so soothing. Oh, wonderful. Lots and lots of turmeric in there. Pad pak gut, which is uh, stir fried fern with a little bit of garlic, a little bit of chilies in here. And she gave this just a nice light wok fry over a high heat. Mm. Oh yeah, it's refreshing, perfect saltiness. And then I love how the garlic is just barely toasted, so it's almost raw, so it has so much flavor. The final dish that we got here is mu'i. Mu'i, chai This is a, a dish I've never heard before, uh, but this is a their own style, but uh, Phuket style dish. It looks somewhat similar to muhong, which is a famous stew of uh, pork stew in Phuket. But this is more of a sauce poured over this pork. Um, you see the pepper in there, you see lots of garlic. I think that's pork belly too. You can see the layers of it. Wow, the different textures of that pork from the skin to the fat to the meat, and then that sauce. It tastes the garlic and black pepper, but it tastes like a just a thick braised porky sauce. I love that black pepper and that garlic, caramelized garlic. Oh, 
And it also came with this pickle, maybe to cut, probably to cut the richness of that pork is really rich. Yeah, the fattiness of that pork is really rich. And even the sauce. I'll put some of this onto the, the rice. Maybe. Mix that together. Mm. Oh, it's a combination. Oh, that works so well. The pickle is kind of sweet and salty, actually. Not very sour, but that works in so many ways because you've got the, the gooey, sticky fattiness of the pork and the crunch, the refreshing aspect of the, the pickle. So eating them together is perfect, a perfect balance in your mouth. And on that bite, I've tasted all of the main dishes that we ordered. Uh, what truly stands out to me about this food is that it's uniquely home cooked. Even if you were to close your eyes, you would know this is home cooked food. And I think that aspect, that part, is what makes this food so special, this meal so special, what makes it such an experience. Probably my favorite dishes are the fried fish, with that crunchy curry paste, and the, the chicken. The chicken is amazing, but this fish is extraordinary. That's just straight caramelized curry. This chicken is amazing too. Just the actual chicken and that texture and those layers and that sauce and the fried garlic is just a, an extra bonus. The icing on the cake. That sauce is so good, you could bathe in it. It's also a great place for kids. Micah is running back and forth from the swing to the horse, to the to the wooden horse, to the table to grab a bite. Perfect family atmosphere. I'm just halfway through the meal, but Ying already ordered dessert. And something you have to try here is the Manto Todd Sankaya. And Manto are the Chinese steamed buns, but this is actually deep fried. Um, and then served with a Sankaya, which should be a, I believe, a coconut milk based kind of custard cream. But I'll come back for that dessert. I gotta finish the, the main dish first. I think it's the heart and liver combo. Yes, I'm just gonna submerge. Oh, it's wonderful. The creamy liver, the spongy heart. Okay, it's hot. I totally forgot about drinking any water or drinking anything during that meal because it's so good. Uh, but another homely touch is that when you're thirsty, you just come over to this umbrella. Under this umbrella, they have cups. There's a ice chest of ice. It's all self-service. Can I get some ice? Oh, thank you. Food is all really good. And then finally for dessert, the classic dessert, the fried manto. Oh yeah, that is pillowy soft. With the sankaya. Mm -hmm. You have to dip a lot of sankaya, Matt. Dip a lot of sankaya? Yeah. I'll make it count. Look at the fluffiness of that bread, almost like angel food. Angel cake? What is it called? Angel, angel food cake. Yeah, that is delicious. All the pillowiness of that manho. It's so fluffy and so like fine in texture, just with this light skin of a golden crunch. And then that coconut custard is sweet, almost has a little bit of a caramel taste to it, and just thick and rich, and what a combo. What a way to end a fantastic 
home cooked meal. I think hot, hot, hot. hot. Which one and you just in? black coffee. Americano. 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 Also extremely convenient after you finish, if things could not get more convenient or more perfect after your meal in the garden, in the backyard, there's a coffee shop, a kopi coffee shop. They have some traditional Thai Chinese kind of coffees and also drip coffees, uh, a variety of different, oh, different coffee beans from the north of Thailand. grinds the coffee fresh by hand. That's awesome. An amazing device, like similar to an AeroPress, but it's called an ROK or ROK. Made in Thailand, I've never seen it before. A, a press, espresso press. Oh, yang mai kam. Perfect. Ah, just a, a fantastic restaurant to come with a group, to come with your family. A couple of details, number one, is that uh, the restaurant is open only on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so it's a weekend restaurant. And it's only open for lunch, I believe, and throughout the afternoon. And then additionally, you need to order two days, more than two days in advance to make your reservation, to make your order. And they can speak English as well, so you can call them up uh, to make a reservation when you are in Phuket, and highly recommended for a great, just relaxing afternoon meal on the weekend. So thank you very much to Auntie. Thank you so much to the entire family here uh, for the wonderful meal. And that's gonna be it for this video. I wanna say a big thank you also to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe and also click the little bell icon and that way you'll immediately get notified of the next video that I publish. Goodbye from the beautiful garden at Gingup E in Phuket. And I will see you on the next video.